this is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. You will never find me, I'm telling you. Well, all right. I'm going to commentary today about Walmart. Yeah, I'm mad about Walmart. I ain't happy with them a bit. I'm telling you what. Now, they think they're too big to, to uh, fail, just like them banks did. And uh, they just uh, they're, they're taking over the world. They won't do stuff the way I want them to. I'm mad. I've just been shopping there today. Went there to buy me some groceries, and uh, I'll go around there, and, and uh, this is the thing. See, Jim Bob lives way out in the country, and uh, for me to go to Walmart, i got to drive 20 minutes just to get there. And uh, ain't no little, there's some little grocery stores around here, but they ain't none has got a bunch of groceries like Walmart does. And the thing that pisses me off about Walmart is they're so smart, they've figured out how to just stock their shelves with enough stuff where they sell, just the stuff they sell and, and not anything for somebody who likes something special once in a while, see? So I'm gonna give you a list, Walmart. I'm sending this video to Walmart too, by gosh. Now here's the deal. So I'll go there to Walmart and uh, I like to have a little sweetie with my coffee in the morning. I like to have it like a donut or a sweet roll or something, a cinnamon roll, you know? And they have these cinnamon rolls. It's a really good deal. You get. Uh, uh, six of them in a pack for three dollars and uh, sometimes they got them and sometimes they don't today they didn't have them. that pissed me off okay so then uh, I look for some other stuff in there I got to, I like to have some uh, sweetener in my coffee to special it up you know some uh, peppermint tasting stuff they didn't have it today had it uh, last time I went but didn't have it today see and they can't keep their shelves stocked and stuff like that they're just too damn big to fail. Well, I tell you what, Walmart, you are big enough to fail. And if you don't keep uh, messing around with Jim Bob, I'll start up my own store and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have all peppermint stuff and I'll have my honey buns in there too, by gosh, so I can have my sweeties in the morning and the coffee. But they're pissing me off and they just, uh, they have this computer, see, and the computers, they uh, a key in there and they say, well, they didn't sell enough of that in this store, so we'll pull it out of that store and then we'll put something else in there that'll sell more like that. Well, that's okay if they don't sell none of them never, but they do sell some of them, and then uh, and my honey buns is something they do sell, and my coffee sweetener is something they do sell, and uh, and I wanted to get me a little light fixture thing to fix a lamp I found on the side of the road. I found a lamp on the side of the road the other day, and all it needs is that little light bulb thing where you screw it in, you know, and you push the button on and off like that. That's all it needs. You'd think Walmart had it. Hell no. I'll tell you what, boy. Old Walton, he'd just rolling over in his grave if he knew that. They didn't have none of them things in there, not a, not a one of them. Nothing like that. And same thing with my fishing tackle. I go in there and they run out of my fishing tackle. And they don't have the stuff I want whenever I go in there. And uh, Walmart, you better get your act together. Jim Bob's uh, mad about it. And I'm going to post it all over YouTube and all over uh, Facebook and Twitter. And everybody, I'll be right out there on Twitter with President Trump. You hear me, Walmart? You better get your act together. Jim Bob's mad. 